everyone, Joe here from Action X. Welcome to What's in the Tube. Welcome back. If this is your second Nancy Drew Season 4 episode review, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe out there in the big real world. I keep forgetting, honestly, I'm in this weird time period right now with my life and this show that these weeks have felt even longer that I completely almost nearly forgot today's Wednesday. Even though like, last week Wednesday was... A week, a week ago, but, it, but you know, it also sad do, na, d days for me because my other review series, um, basing on Perry Mason, has just been canceled. So I'm pretty disappointed by that. But however, we trek along on the Drew on the on the Drew Crew's final season, the final crew, the final team, the final. I'm I'm losing my my analogies here. Where with this episode, it definitely kind of reminds me of like, yeah, this is a new chapter. This is definitely a new era for the Drew Crew. It feels different. I feel like I, I maybe I, I miss. I missed this last episode, but this episode kind of gives a different lighting. Like, they changed something in the post. Like, this has more vibrant colors. Like, a little bit more yellowish, or a little bit more natural colors, if that makes sense. I mean, season one to three kind of felt a little bit more, like, uh, muted. Like, you know, more blue than, than it. But it could just be me. My, maybe I'm not wearing my glasses, so that's why. Uh, but honestly, this episode was really fun. I, I definitely like the fact that we kind of gave Nancy, like, I said this back when I did season one episode review, that Nancy had her own flashpoint with Nancy point. And, you know, this episode was kind of her getting another comics-related thing, and it was actually a pretty interesting analogy. I wish she could have pushed it a little bit further, uh, but, you know, it's, you know, you can't have too much of a good thing. You can't have too much of a good thing. Uh, but again, you know, definitely, this is not feeling like the final season at all. It just feels like the character's moving on with life, but then again, this is probably just, again, like every other show on TV, like, you know, it's part of life. Like, you know, there's never really is going to be a defined ending to a story. It's just, you just keep going on to these New and new chapter, so to speak. Um, but with that being said, let's go for the butcher recap and talk about this week's episode of Nancy Drew. Uh, so we begin with we're at the claw, I want to say. And yeah, we see George coming in. She's prepping for her one of her first days, or if not her first day, in her clerkships, because um her the judge that um Carson gave her a recommendation to has hired her officially as a clerk. So she's about to begin and it's pretty crucial that she really impresses the boss since again she really does not have the criteria whatsoever to be in this position. But um, the powers may be allow her to do so. Um, Bess and Nick are messing around with um, Nick going on a dating app. Uh, even though Nick doesn't see this as a dating app, he sees this as an opportunity to meet new people. Which again, this is Horseshoe Bay. It is not a big town. It should not be that difficult to go and find a person on the street. I, mean, I, I, could be, I could be wrong. I have never lived in a small town before. Um, and finally, Nancy and Ace are talking finally again after so long. And, you know, everyone seems to be on the fulfill of, oh, Nancy and Ace have a curse on them from Temperance. And, of course, Ace right now is just thinking like, okay, what do we do? What's the plan? How do we break this curse? And Nancy's like, there is no breaking the curse. There is no, nothing we can do right now to, um, allow us to be together. There's nothing. And of course, obviously Ace feeling like, you know, kind of like the can't, can't really be rejected type of guys like saying like, no, there's gotta be a way. There has to be a way. We beat her before. We could do it again, but this is like beyond their control because like, this is magic from the dead. So how do you, how do you fix that? per se. Um, Nancy, again, is just telling him, like, we just need to accept the facts, move on, just try to move on with life as best we can. You know, that's all we can really do right now. The more we think about it, the more we're going to get hurt about by it. You know, that was Nancy the past month. Now it's Ace's turn, in a way. Um, Nick's also kind of clarifying the best, like, you know, all of this dating app thing, where, you know, he, he matched with someone already, but it's purely just to talk to them and to, you know, just get to know them more, more. just, you know, get to know pe more people. And of course, Bess opens up the possibility of like, yeah, this will probably be, this could be your first date that isn't with someone in the friend group. And Nick's like, oh, right. I forgot about that. Uh, even George, once again, on her way out, gives Nick her approval. Like, yeah, go on dates. Go, go, go screw whatever you want. Like, you know, go be happy. You know, I'm, I'm just going to be your friend now. It, it's weird. It's weird. It's, it's, it's so weird thing. Uh, George arrives at the, at the courthouse. Um, being the perfect clerk that, she, that she's trying to be, you know, be, being the judge's, you know, like, right hand, trying to help him out with cases, trying to get him, give him water. Uh, within a moment, of, a moment of emptiness, and then she notices uh, a panic in the room. Um, the judge is, like, kind of, like, 
acting all shakily. He's going through his files, trying to rip up a particular one in question. Uh, but then he's about to collapse. But he tells George, "Do not trust." I forgot the name of the girl, the the, the lake he said or something. He, something um, he said, but he collapses. George immediately calls Nancy and Ace over. And, you know, obviously. George is just running, like, immediately excuses him again. Where is the police? Like, there's not a single ounce of police forces here. Like, there is no one here. Like, did we not have the budget? Did we not have the budget for police extras today? I don't think so. Um, Nancy promises George she will get to the bottom of this. You know, they always, they never give up on trying to solve a case. And even though Ace is, like, giving him, like, giving her the bombastic side eye of, like, bitch, you just told me, like, an hour ago that we need to give up on us. Uh, but so they're trying to figure out what could have triggered the Judd, what could have triggered these um, behaviors, because it's not part of his um, his usual um, his usual uh, personality. Um, they're determining like, wait, what was the last thing you did? Like, what were the last things you you gave to him that could have been different? And George's like, I gave her him some water. And said, so, well, maybe the water is poison, or or you know, laced with something. And he stupidly makes a mistake. He trips and he knocks over the water to Nancy. Consuming her, consuming it a little bit into her system, and he's like, you know what, I'm not dying. I'm not, you know, feeling super ill. Maybe this is a good sign that I was gonna be well. Um, then Ace leaves to go conduct business back at her house, which Bess is currently cooking because Bess is about to um, have um, dinner with her girlfriend's parents. It's a pretty big step in their uh, relationship. Definitely, she doesn't want to do do a misprint of last time where she just left her previous girlfriend's parents, like you know, left hanging. Um, after that, so, however, they were, they get to, um, a crossroads, Nancy aggressively goes, go ahead of another driver who's supposed to go, um, ahead of her, Ace is one, Ace is trying to tell her off, and she's, and she's like, nah, it's about the fitness, you know, first come, first serve, that type of ordeal, and then you see on the side of her neck, this, um, these, this, these black veins filling up her, um, bl her blood. And again, like, for me, like, yeah, she got her own symbiote. She got the symbiote. She's about to turn to grass. She's about to turn, like, evil, goth, um, emo Nancy Drew. And not really emo, just, like, you know, more direct. So let's say that. Um, so they regroup back at, um, actually, I don't know, not yet. Do we regroup? No, no, no. So it, this is this episode's kind of weird with all the, the split ups. Like, it's like, okay, this group's going to go with here. This group's going to go to here. Like, you know, that kind of, like. It, it, it was kind of weird in my opinion. It kind of was weird. Um, Nancy um, lets Bess use her kitchen to cooking. Uh, meanwhile, um, Nick is on his date, but it doesn't really feel like a date to, per se. It feels more like, you know, she's asking him questions about his, or his new TikTok-like video and, like, you know, trying to ask him you know, a bunch of questions about it. And Nick's like, you're not really feeling like... You're not just really trying to get to know me. You're trying to really just get to know my popularity, so to speak. Um, eventually, they get a call about the whole the whole case. And, uh, yeah, so they all regroup back at the, oh yeah, I forgot, there was a scene before all this happened with George, with the whole, um, with the whole, um, judge thing, where, um, N Nancy and Ace resume their argument slash conversation in the break room, um, Ace is kind of appalled that Nancy's just willing to give up like this, and then the, the new guy, the lobster guy, you know, shows up back in, and Ace immediately says, like, yeah, this guy got a crush on Nancy, he's got that crush. And I'm like, well, I'm going to establish myself as the true person for Nancy. And which I'm like thinking to myself, this is an unnecessary love triangle. That I don't even think it is a love triangle. I don't even think anyone really knows that this is a love triangle, to be honest with you. At least in my perspective. Uh, so going back to it, we head back to Nancy's house where Bess is in the middle of cooking. Um, George is kind of helping her. And they're just trying to figure out the whole case. Um... For themselves, they're looking at the file in question. It is it isn't really much of like a big like you know shocker case. It was about a man who I believe committed um uh, no a break in in a house of a girl that he liked. Uh, it didn't go well, but however the judge in question managed to you know help him out with the case, so he didn't get arrested or or you know um sentenced for it. But then a couple couple weeks later, actually no no yeah we're not we're not up to that part yet. We're not up to that part yet. Um. But you're starting to notice the, the negative, the, like, the change in Nancy's behavior. Like, Nancy's exhibiting personality traits that she doesn't really utilize at all, if, any, if anything. Even by the time um, Nick and uh, Ace step in, they're just like, yeah, it's probably the water. The water probably turned Nancy into this, you know, negative version of herself or whatever you want to call it. And, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're just kind of appalled. Like, this is a Nancy that I w we wish we never have to exist with. But hopefully, eventually, Nancy will come back. The real Nancy will come back to us. And we will never, ever talk about this Nancy again. 
I want to say beyond that point, um, George and eight, George and Nick head over to the hospital to wait for the judge, hoping that he's okay, but he's about to go into surgery. Uh, George and, and Nick are trying to make some small conversation about Nick's date, but Nick's like, you know, saying like, yeah, it wasn't really much of a date. It was more like a PR uh, interrogation or some shit like that. So, uh, no day two for her. No day two for her. Uh, I want to, then after that, Ace and Nancy decided to hit up the guy that the, um, the judge, um, pulled out his file for. They're getting caught, caught up on the case and, you know, um, the guy's expressing like his, um, his thankfulness that the judge managed to get him off, that he managed to like turn a new leaf on his life. Now he has daughters, he has a family of his own and he's just like, he's living life, you know, a, a more healthier lifestyle, let's say. Nancy's not taking no, t- naked this for an answer. She really is not seeing the um, the Nancy we know is not, go- is not is not there anymore. She's not there, and she's more aggressive. She's more um, anti this and like you know believing like oh it was you yeah you attacked her like you assaulted her again because like she immediately got attacked like a couple weeks after your your arrangement ended. So like what's going on? Like you know definitely. You're hiding something from us. And, of course, the guy's like, you know, denying it. Ace is like, you have no evidence against him. Shut up. You're, you're going to make it worse for yourself. Ace manages to pull her away out of the house. And, but she gets upset that, you know, she didn't, he didn't have her back. And it's like, oh, you're just trying to control me. Like, trying to control the investigation because you know you can't control us from happening. You're trying to control every every other aspect of my life. And, again, this isn't Nancy talking. This is the negative being in her body talking. Uh, Ace being the calm, respectful, not boyfriend, boyfriend that he is. is like just tra- telling her, like, look. You're okay. It's just this thing, like you know, you're you're still you, and or whatever. I forgot how he said it, but Nancy's like, "Say fuck you, get out of here." She just drives away, leaving him alone. And I'm like, I really don't know how the, the taxi is in this town. I really don't know. That, that I'm curious to see. Uh, Bess is trying to cook throughout the entire session. Um, even she's pitching her girlfriend the menu, and the, the girlfriend's like, "Yeah, my parents are very particular people. They're very like you know selective on." The people they let in their lives, or the food they consume, or just everything under the sun. Like, it's very particular on what they want. But that's like, don't worry, we're gonna be fine, everything's gonna be great, you know, no need to worry. Um, spoilers, there will be things to worry about in the, in the future. Uh, so the whole Drew crew reunites at the hospital, I'm not really meeting much progress with it. I know, uh, no, no, not yet. I know Nancy and George go off to see the woman in question, the whole, the, the woman that was in the middle of this entire case. And she's like, yeah, I, yeah, that was a one-time incident. And uh, then the couple weeks later, I got hit in the head, um, by the curve. I fell when I was drunk and that was about it. That was the end. And, you know, I moved on from that experience. Uh, but what was really concerning was that there was a, um, there was a, um, there, there was a gift that the guy mentioned about that he gave to the, um, the judge, even though technically you're not supposed to give, you know, you know, you're not sure, you're supposed to even give gifts to, like, of any reason to a judge. So, he's just, they're just thinking in some way, what is this horse saying, this little, this horse-like item, this little statue that everyone keeps, you know, saying from the, from the, um, from the judge and the guy, like, what is this connect? And even the woman's like, how do you, how do you have that? Like, you know, that's, that was very particular to us. If that makes sense. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But I, I'm on the right track. I apologize. I'm slowly trying to unravel because, like, again, this they jumped all over the place here, which is fine. But, like, you know, it, my brain is a little slow today. Um, so then the Drew crew stands best reunited the hospital. They're just trying to, trying to figure out what's next. Like, they're missing something. They need the medical ref- records of the woman just to make sure that everything that happened in that accident was what happened in the accident. So um, Nancy just tells Tate, like, yeah, go, go get, go get your hat on. Go get the file. Start to start, start to time to start proving to this team that you are not just eye candy. Which I'm like, Nancy, this is this is not you. Like the longer this negative beings in Nancy, the more danger she's gonna get. And spoilers, we have we have we're not even crossing the threshold yet. Ace does though, he um flirts with the woman and she gives him the file, and everything about the file is totally one hundred percent accurate. No, no problems whatsoever. And then we cut to the point where, you know. Um, Nancy is making fun of Ace about just him with, with the flirting and everything. And you're just saying, oh, you're very, you think this is it. This is it. Like, you know, just, you just assume like you flirt with one nurse and then boom, you're a medical expert. And Ace is like tired of this. He decides to go back to Nancy's house to go help Bess with the cooking. And Bess is like, no, you're, you're not using this as an excuse to like get away from it. all. Like, no, this is not what you're doing right now. And even though Ace knows that this is a Nancy talking, you know, there was still a lot of un- unsaid things that they had to talk about before this happened. And, you know, they don't really know a cure yet. So they're like, what if this Nancy sticks around forever? So, and then we're screwed about this. 
Um, Bess is like, fine, you know what? I'm going to stop cooking for now. You just maintain everything that I'm working on right now. And I'm going to go back to the Historic Society and I'm going to go find something to help Nancy. I will go. So she goes. Um, so Ace resumes cooking by himself. And then eventually um, Nancy walks back in because like this is still her house, kind of. And she tells Ace, look, I'm sorry. I really am. But, you, you know, it's been a very rough couple of weeks. You know, I, I know you want to know everything about the hallucination, about what we had in the other life. And I'm going to tell you right now. And, you know, Ace is like, no, no, we're not going to do that. It's fine. You know, we're, we can we, we can just move on from that. And Ace is like, well, you you rejecting me now? Like, you know, you, I'm finally giving you the opportunity and you're rejecting me? Eventually, Nancy just snaps. She's, she grabs the horse statue and starts trying to hit and kill Ace with it. Ace, and I'm like, I'm just thinking to myself, there's going to be a moment where they're going to hit the food. And Bess is going to be so pissed later. For some reason, they don't hit the food, which I'm like, okay, you, you save one argument. You save one scene from us. Um, they find into the dining room eventually. Ace manages to get the better of her, pushing her into a closet and calling Bess for backup. But, you know, calm now. I need you now. You need to fix this right now. Uh, so Bess comes through. They they handcuff Nancy to the um, staircase. They find a temporary el elixir that will basically uh, soothe in the, the illness, the, the emotions, but it won't fully heal Nancy. It'll give them Nancy somewhat back before everything happens. Uh, so they, it works. Nancy kind of comes back for the time to be apologizes to Ace, but she feels no remorse. So she has the halfway mark. Like, Nancy's back in control, but it's not the full negative Nancy. Ah, there we go. I'll call her negative Nancy. Even though she wasn't negative, she's just the opposite of Nancy. Whatever. We're, we're moving on. Um... So she apologizes to Ace, to everyone, that, like, you know, she's not able to really do anything right now because this thing is stuck in her and, you know, they should really find another thing they could do. And Bess is like, oh, no, wait, hold on. Ryan offscreen found a device that we can use to remove this being from you, this liquid from inside of you, but it's in the possession of the Relic Collector's house. And who do we know that can probably get us in there? The son, the, the, the hot guy that uh, is into Nancy. So George handcuffs her to Nancy, drags her drags her to him, and, and, you know, they beg him for the favor of, like, get us the thing, we'll give you some insurance in case we do end up losing this item again, so don't worry about it. So... He gives the item. We go back to Nancy's house. They're performing the the um, the procedure. Uh, it's a very ancient device, but it's gonna work. Um, they flip the switch. All the liquid comes out of Nancy, so she's kind of good to go. Uh, she throws up the um, the black vial that the zombies kind of you know did the same thing of last week, and. She's kind of back to normal. She's like saying all the emotions are ba now back. She's now fully Nancy again. And it's a lot to take in because she's experienced the last 12 hours without emotions, basically. So it's been a, it's, it's kind of a rough adjustment. Um, however, once they realize the the ooze that just came out of Nancy is the same thing as the zombies, that means this entire case is connected with the overall bigger case. Um, and Ace is like, yeah, so we're, we were definitely on the wrong path here. Definitely something was wrong amiss here. Uh, but then Ace brings up another point that he f managed to find out with his real hacking skill. He hacked the, um, the office of the, he of the, of the brain specialist that sent over the scans and the photos of the woman when she was injured years ago. And he got them, but however, it's a completely different picture of what was in the hospital records. Indicating that someone tampered with the files in the hospital, but forgot to tamper the files in the other place. Uh, so definitely there is something wrong here. They're like, they're trying to figure out what, what could be really wrong here. Now they can finally really get to this investigation portion now that Nancy's fully back. Uh, however, you know, obviously things are, you know, kind of going off and away about this. So, um, I want to say, yeah, so Nick and Nace and Nace, um, Nancy and Ace head over back to the guy's house and George and, um, Nick go to visit the, uh, the judge again, who's about to wake up from his surgery. Bess is just staying behind, just like trying to clean up her dinner, trying to figure out like, you know, if everything's going to work out with this one. Um, this is the guy, again, the guy, you know, is very much anti, like, I didn't do anything wrong. Nothing I did. You know, you have nothing against me. Like, you know, there's no fact to what you're saying. However, just to try and get something out of it, they take the water, the negative water, and to give it to him by switching out with his, with his uh, water jug. It works. It actually allows him to admit that, like, it, yes, he did commit these crimes, but there's no physical evidence they can use against him. Um, but they were able to manage to, like, at least get the confession out of him um, for good. Even when um, George and um, Nick talk with the judge, you know, the judge is like, yes, I did this for a favor because, like, you know, I made some mistakes in my career. I felt bad for the kid and I wanted to help him, you know, get, like, not ruin his life. But George is like, you know, yeah, you saved his life, but you did negatively affect um, the woman's life because she didn't deserve that. You know, she said no to him. She, you know, 
did everything by the books, and he she still had this bad thing happen to her, and you uh, prevented uh, her attacker from getting you know getting the punishment he deserves. And again, he, he expresses his remorse, but George like kind of explodes, and then like you know I'm not happy with you right now. Like this is not the judge that I thought you were. You were not the judge I thought you were. Uh, eventually, once they get the information they got from the guy, Nancy and, and Ace go to visit the woman again, telling her the truth. Like, yeah, this is what actually happened. We don't know entirely why you forgot these certain events, but what we can say is that, you know, that at least you have closure. That, like, you know, that this, all this, you know, is now into the light. Everything's, like, fully revealed, and hopefully you'll never forget again. Uh, and I guess, yeah, that was kind of, like, a weird way to kind of resolve it. And then really, like, a big pomp and circumstance ending was just kind of, like, you know, there. Um, Bess meets up with her girlfriend again. The girlfriend's then kind of appalled over Bess's dinner. Like, it's not the best dinner in the world, but it definitely is, like, you know, not going to be something that her parents are going to like. And, you know, Bess gets out of her that, that you know, her parents are, you know, Bess, her, his girl, her girlfriend does not want her to meet her parents. Not because she does she's embarrassed by her, but it's because that she's scared that if her parents reject her, they can't date anymore. Or they can't be together anymore. But Bess uh, lets her down saying, like, yeah, no, like, no matter what happens, this dinner's going to go off perfectly. And if they still don't like me, I'm not going to leave. I'm still going to be with you. This doesn't affect anything. That's the one thing you should know. Like, you know, if you really truly feel something about someone, you should never let anyone else's opinion you matter. It's your opinion that matters at the end of the, at the, end of the day. Um, so they have the dinner. Bess is very awkward around there because like, this could be her potential parent-in-law slash her only parents since her mom and dad are kind of a wall in her life right now. Um... Na um, Nancy and Ace go back to, to Ace's house now like that to go talk about, you know, just... The other life that Nancy was living with Ace before, you know, um, Prudence basically uprooted it from, from them. And, you know, Ace is just like, he's right to hear everything that they did and, like, you know, what they can have to look forward to once they eventually somehow break the curse. Um, meanwhile, George and a um, Nick reunite back at the claw. It's a pretty packed house. But they're just trying to figure out, like, how these two are connected. Like, why all of a sudden the judge got affected with the negative water and then all these zombies also... Were affected and they were all right near a water source. And the um, the next weird thing about it is like, what if the negative sun is already in the water? And they're looking around. Everyone's drinking water. Like water is like the most natural thing to drink in the world. Now it's in fact I'm like, great, we're all doomed. We're all doomed. But that was the end of this week's episode of Nancy Drew. I feel like this was a fun episode, you know, definitely having Nancy be symbio Nancy or negative Nancy was kind of a, an interesting direction. I would have loved to see more of it. I feel like we didn't, I feel like we needed two more scenes. Just two more scenes with it, but, you know, um, I take what you can get, take what you can eventually get out of this. Uh, but de it definitely was enjoyable to see, um, you know, just more of the repressed side of Nancy coming out to play a little bit. Uh, maybe I would even prefer to two-parter, you know, something like that. Um... Ace just showcasing that, yeah, he is definitely boyfriend material. Like, having the patience to deal with both Nancy's insecurities and, like, her her um, her um guilt over not fighting for them more, slash negative Nancy is like, yeah, Ace is going to be a great life partner. He's going to be a great life partner. Um, Nick getting back out there is a good direction for him, but definitely, I think they're still teetering to Nick and George a little bit, like, trying to give them, like, a, a, a firm... Um, foundation between them that isn't romantical i think that's going to be great in the long run for them when they do eventually pair back up again because i know it's going to happen i know it's going to happen um as for george you know definitely this was not george's episode like you know she was kind of right to start, kind of continue this new chapter in her life and then this happened i thought they were going to kill off the judge i'm like that would be the biggest insult in the world if like you know they just kill off the judge that would be fucking you know painful for her but it wasn't um as for Bess, it is sweet that Bess is like you know i think of the five kind of like in the most stable place right now she has a stable job and a stable romantic life you know i you know definitely she is the more stable one but she's now dealing with the, the growth stages of like you know trying to maintain this relationship and kind of make it grow to the next stages you know that that is something to see and i just feel very uh, yeah after everything best has been through for the last three seasons like this is what she needs she deserved this you know everyone deserves a happy ending but like best deserves the most happy ending of all of them right now uh definitely overall with the larger mystery with the water now like i'm still in, like in like the dark of like how are they gonna tie this in i mean i know there's 11 more episodes left but i'm like i really don't know how they're gonna land this entire ship i really don't know 
I don't know what the bigger play is, what the connection is, you know. It's the most vaguest we have on a mystery since the show started. So, I'm very much long for the ride. Definitely, they're trying to do something different this season, and I'm very much appreciative of it. But for now, I'm going to give this episode two thumbs up. I enjoyed it a lot. Let me in the comments below what you think of this week's episode of Nancy Drew. Let's have a conversation down below. And I believe that's going to do for me today, everyone. So if you're unaware, this has been What's the Two from Action X. Reviewing every episode in the final season of Nancy Drew. If you want to know what we're doing normally on What's the Two besides our, what, our um, Nancy Drew episode reviews. Uh, starting this Friday, we're going to be picking up and beginning our cra the Crowded Room reviews that is going to premiere on Apple TV. It's a new subscription service for me. It's a new show. It's got Tom Holland in it. I heard some pretty bad stuff up about it but you know what i always say your opinion matters my opinion matters so uh, i'm gonna watch it for myself and see how it goes um the first three episodes are gonna come out live we're gonna, we're gonna you know divvy them out throughout the next week because i don't want to pressure myself to do three reviews in one day so don't worry about that i want to give every episode the chance to like um breathe organically so don't worry about that uh but if you're on camera nancy drew you're in luck we'll be back next week with another brand new episode review but still stay tuned until then but thank you so much again for watching please subscribe if you haven't yet like favorite share if you want to ring the bell and follow us on social media but until we see each other again for all you members of the drew crew uh thank you so much for watching uh, until next week stay safe out there be good to each other and as always